Let's debate. Where do we go from here? What does this mean for Biden? What does it mean for you? Best-selling author, columnist, Ellis Hennigan, journalist, political commentator, friend of show, Scotty Nell Hughes. Good to have you both. Thank you for joining me, especially on a Friday night. Good to see you guys. Hey. So, Scotty, I'll start with you. Do you believe that last night was a declaration of demise for the president of the United States politically? Well, Chris, first, I want to say I appreciate your monologue and I appreciate the passion because I think whether you agree 100 percent with what you're saying, I think your audience can definitely glean from it. The fact that the American people have been sold a bad bill of goods and that this is just a part of a game and politics and the people who lose are the voters themselves. But when you, I'm not going to be like the majority of Republicans today who have taken this victory lap saying, see, we told you that Joe Biden's cognitive abilities have gone down over the past few years. I look at this actually a little bit differently because I think it's actually a very sad day in America. And I think this is also showing how much lack of faith and trust the Democrats have in the vice president. I know that you want to kind of downplay what the special counsel came out and said. I, I see it different. This is the commander in chief. And right now we have men and women that are in two different theaters and they're supposed to listen to a man who yesterday it was officially put on the record as being an elderly man with poor memory. That's not exactly who you want to have in charge of the U.S. military right now, considering the international as well as the domestic issues that we're solving. So I think right. right now, Democrats, I hate that they're playing politics. I hate that they're not going to look at the reality because they would rather keep a man in office who could be potentially dangerous rather than actually do what is best for our country right now and put maybe some faith into the vice president that they chose to serve underneath him. All right. I will suspend my disbelief. Uh, that a case can't be made that Trump is every bit as gaffy as Biden is when it comes to screwing things up that he should know. Let's put it to the side, because as we all know, most of the country, overwhelmingly, by the way, wants neither of them. But Ellis, do you believe that there is the proverbial snowball's chance in Hades that the Democrats are going to push Biden out? Less than that. <laughs> I, think that, I think that's an exaggeration, Chris. L listen, the mechanics of it are impossible. There's no will there. There's no alternative. And, and it ain't going to happen. You're absolutely right. Why? If, why? if it's as clear as day what Scotty is saying, why aren't the Democrats making a move on Biden? How do they see it? Well, I think they believe that he's the best uh, horse they have to ride. Listen, listen, this guy today, her, right? He needs to stay back in his lane, right? This is this is not an expertise that he has. He's not a gerontologist. It, it, it would be like if I went to the dentist and the dentist said, uh, "Hey, Ellis, your teeth are great, but but you should shoot the family dog and get a parakeet instead." That's not your expertise. It's not what you know. And the reality <laughs> is, Joe Biden has been winning. The economy is doing well. Every negotiation he has with Republicans, he tends to come out on top. Many Americans feel, not the people who hate him already, but many Americans feel, I think, that, listen, a guy with a little seasoning may be better than these, uh, these steroid-driven toughies that are running the House of Representatives right now. Scotty, when you look at a situation where McConnell, another guy who we think we have a legitimate reason to say, God forbid anything happens to him uh, on our watch. I hope he takes care of himself, right, after the spells that he's had. He says the secret part out loud. Politics have changed, Scotty. Can't back the bill. Got to leave the problem in place for Trump. Tell me a more obvious uh, kind of indecency to the people that voted to put you in there to fix their problems than that. Well, but here, let's point out that even last night, and I, as a Republican, welcome Joe Biden doing press conferences as often as possible, especially as they continue to take the tone and the demure that happened with the last night, where even for the first time in a long time, you saw the press corps actually ask Joe Biden hard questions. But you look at his comments, and he's been fact-checked today by usually his normal adoring fans in the media, where they've pointed out that he has actually lied, that he did share with a ghostwriter, despite him saying last night that he didn't, that he did take classified information information, and it was not marked, and it was not just locked up. It was actually sitting on the floor of his garage, and it was marked top secret. So even so he's you're going to say, Scotty, so you're going to so say, Scotty, lying, that Biden's got to go. On. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Scotty, apply the same test to your own. 
that lying well, I'm is too own. much for you to take? Right mm -hmm. now, Chris. Lying about classified information is too much for you to take? Because you don't have to deal with that on your side of the ball, right, Scotty? You see what I'm saying? Oh, you know, it's such we a We definitely farce. have to deal with it. If you didn't want lying about what matters, you'd never back Trump. Well, but here's an interesting, and I think this is why you're seeing Trump's defense right now actually for asking for his case to be dismissed, showing that it's selectivity right now in our justice system that they are going to go after yes. Trump for the same yes. issue that President Biden's being. But the difference is President Biden. Biden right now is in office, and all this has done is confirmed and he rumors as well as speculation about his cognitive, cognitive decline, which is something we don't need with the leader of the free world. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.